So welcome back everyone. Now when you install Windows, it comes with pre-made power plan that dictate how your computer operate and how some of the component operate on a device. But there are some important changes that I recommend to make to improve the performance and doing this it's very easy. So in order to bring up the power option, you can click on the Windows search, type here control and click on the control panel. In the control panel, you have to look for the power options and this kind of page will be up now by default here you will find that your power plan might be selected to balanced or the power saver so the balanced power plan basically automatically balance the performance with the energy consumption on capable hardware so you can say that it gives you the average performance alongside with the average battery backup now what you have to do here you will have to click on show additional plan and you have to look for the high performance on my end, it's already been selected, uh, but you have to look for the high performance and you have to enable it. So enabling the high performance mode will prevent your CPU speed from dropping when idle while also keeping some components switched on when they would otherwise go to sleep. So if you're really concerned about the performance on your PC or your laptop, then you have to go with the high performance. But if you are concerned about the battery backup, you need the more uh, battery backup for your laptop, then you can go with the power saver. So this is the first setting that you have to choose. Now next you have to manage your display and the sleep timer. And in your windows power setting, there is an option to decide when to turn off the display and when the computer goes to sleep. So after selecting the high performance, on the right of it, you will find change plan setting. Click on it. And it says change the sleep and the display setting that you want your computer to use. Now, there are many people I have seen, they want that the computer should not go to sleep because they are working on multiple monitor or working on multiple devices. Uh, they take some kind of break and they don't want when they come back, the screen should be off or windows turn off the display. So if you are one of them, then according to your need, what you can do in the turn off the display, click on the drop down and you can choose between one minute to never. So I won't say to go never until and unless you have such kind of use. But according to your need, uh, you can go somewhere around 15 to 20 minutes. But again, if you are concerned about the battery backup and you want that it should not be awake for too much of time, then you also can go with 3 minutes, 2 minutes or 5 minutes. So this is what you have to decide. You have to choose that what is your requirement, how long the display should be on and when it should be automatically off. So choose the right time here and then it says put the computer to sleep uh, here again you can go from one minute to never now i don't really like putting my computer in the sleep mode so i always keep it to never and i also recommend you the same if you are especially on a pc or a laptop i'm not sure but uh, yes my requirement is putting it to never i don't want that my computer should go to sleep whenever i'm not using it i just go with the shutting down the computer that suits me best and that is the right option so instead of putting in the sleep option, I recommend you that select it to never and whenever you are not using, kindly shut it down. Okay, so once you have made the changes, click on save changes. And this time from the left hand side, you have to click on choose what the power button do. Click on it. Now here you find different kind of option like turn on the fast, restart up, sleep, hibernate and the lock option. So if you read about the fast startup here, it says this help you start your PC faster after shutting down. Restart isn't affected. So whenever you shut down your computer, it basically doesn't shut down the computer properly. And I always recommend everyone that go ahead and disable the fast startup or else you will start having multiple problems on your Windows 10 and Windows 11. So this is another recommendation guys that you have to change here. And in order to disable it, you will have to click on change settings that are currently unavailable. Uncheck turn on fast startup and additionally, if the hibernate option is also being selected, then you have to uncheck it. Then click on save changes. Next again from your high performance on the right of it, click on change plan setting. Click change advanced power setting and it will bring up the power option properties here. Make sure it's been selected to the high performance. And here on the very top, you will have to click on hard disk, make a double click on it. Then double click on turn off hard disk after. Click on settings. Now it should be selected to 20 minutes. So whatever minutes has been selected here, you have to make it at least to 20. 
you can also go with 30 that's all up to you but i would recommend you to go with the 30. now what exactly it mean after 20 minutes when the computer will be idle the hard disk will be turned off and that we don't want that it should be turned off very quickly so i will make it at least to 20 or 30 minutes next you have to look for the wireless adapter setting double click on it then you will find the power saving mode double click on it and in the setting make sure it's been selected to the maximum performance and if it's been selected to power saving or the low power saving whatever uh, just change the value here and make it to maximum performance next you have to look for the usb setting here make a double click on it then you will find usb selective suspend setting again double click on it now this setting can solve problem with the usb now windows by default will shut down certain usb after a length of time in order to save the power but there are a countless report of people online having problem with their usb devices only to find that it was being fixed by turning this setting off so i also recommend you to switch it off and for that you can make a double click here on the settings and from the drop down you can choose it to disable in case disabling this doesn't work for you or you find any problem then you can come back here again and make it to enable and then finally you will have to click on processor power management and here in the minimum processor state and the maximum processor state you have to change the value here and both the value will be set to 100 if not then make it to 100 and do the same with the maximum processor state all right so once you are done now you can click on apply click on ok bingo so now you have the best power plan for your pc and laptop and you would be able to enjoy the best performance avoiding many kind of problem and that's all guys for today hopefully you enjoyed the video found this information useful if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye